Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Sometimes we go through life looking for Mr. Right. This one's going to make my life all better. This one's going to make my life worth living. Oh, I found one that's got some real money, sweetheart. Mm, my life is going to move upward. You know, you can sit there and look at that man all day long. You can fantasize. <laughs> you can let him mesmerize you, whatever you want to do. But when it's all said and done, that man is not to be responsible for you being happy. Didn't know that, did you? News flash. God is supposed to be your all in all. The lover of our lives is to be the cherry on top, but the lover of our souls, that's God. He should be the center of our universe, not him. Not her. God. Now I know that's sometimes a hard pill to swallow. Because God is not going to come down here and put his arms around you and hold you. I know that. Listen, I get it. I get it. I've had my lonely days. I get that. <laughs> but when you get it in the right perspective. You seek your comfort from God. You seek your healing from God. You seek your life. I mean, you want to be alive. That can only come from God. When life gets more frustrating is when you're looking for a man or a woman to fulfill you, to complete you. No, baby cakes. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's God's job. So when you go looking for your lover, your soulmate, your, your lifelong companion, you pray and ask God if you're ready. You know how many people get into marriages and they're not ready? Oh, massa, massa, massa. Mm, help, Lord. Well, mm. I remember my first husband. I thought his mother didn't like me. When Kirk told, when, uh, anyway, when he told his mother that we were getting married, she looked at me and bugged her eyes and said, He's not ready. He's not ready. Little did I know. Mama Sita had it right on the head. He was not ready. And I did not know it. It was too soon. You know how they say too little too late? It was too much too soon. We should have waited. We probably would have had a very successful and, and never ending one if, if we had waited till he got himself whole. But he was hooked on pornography. He was addicted to prostitutes, dance halls, X-rated movies, the internet, magazines. Oh, the list goes on. And I had no idea how not ready he was. Well, some of you get into marriages. And you have kids in those marriages. You bring little babies into the mix. You bring little babies into the mess. And then life gets so confusing. And it just looks like everything is spiraling out of control. Well, that might have been the one, but just not the time. Anyway, I'm not going to drag that on. That is a very in-depth subject. One day we're going to do a You Want to Be Married workshop. Because I'm telling you, we got to hash some things out, y'all. 
For one thing, some of you guys don't know how to handle money. For another, some of you don't know how to respect another. And some of you don't know who you are. But you want to be married. Yeah. Prayer time. Don't be in a hurry. Get whole before you get that lover. 